students. Today we'll be working on our sending and receiving unit. Most importantly, we're going to be worrying about how to send a soccer ball. So before we go outside, since it's really nice out, I want to know um, what you know, what you don't know, what you want to learn throughout the lesson. So we're going to be doing that with a KWL chart. KWL chart is exactly that. So it's things you know, things you want to know, and things you've learned throughout the lesson. So right now we're going to be covering the K and the W, and then before we finish our lesson, we're going to worry about our L. So what are some things that you know about kicking a soccer ball? Yes. So you have to kick with the side of your foot. Side of foot. You have to, yes, you have to face your partner. And anything else? Yes, you have to look up before passing. What are some things that you guys would like to know? Okay, perfect. So, how to get the ball into the air? How to perfect your aim? Perfect. Anything else? Yes, that's a good one. So, how to make your passes harder. Okay, before we go outside, I want you guys to keep this stuff in mind and we will definitely be working on these when we get outside. So, let's get started. Okay, before we start, we're going to talk of the different types of passes that we can do. So the first pass is on the ground. So what we want to think when we're hitting on the ground to our partners, we want to think of hitting the ball in the middle of the ball with the side of our foot with our bodies over. So think of those three things, middle of the ball, side of the foot, and over the ball. So here we're going to try. second pass we're gonna have a chip in the air so what we want to do the different things that we want to do here is we want to hit with the top of our foot so like this we want to get underneath the ball and we need to go backwards so the ball can go into the air to our partners so I'll demonstrate I've demonstrated two types of passing on the ground and in the air the three fundamentals that I would like you to think about when kicking the soccer ball on the ground are kicking in the middle of the ball, kicking with the side of your foot, and getting over the ball to ensure that it stays on the ground. Now, to get the ball in the air, we need you to kick underneath the ball with the top of your foot and leaning back to ensure that it gets in the air to your partner. Now, I want you guys to try. So grab a partner and get a certain amount of distance apart and you'll be good to go. Okay, so how did everyone enjoy today's lesson? Awesome, I really enjoyed it too. I really seen a lot of effort out of you guys, so I'm really happy. Just to quickly finish up, I just wanna know things that you learned from today's lesson. Perfect, so under the ball. So getting under the ball makes it go in the air. And getting over the ball makes it go on the ground. Perfect. Anything else? Yes, following through the ball is perfect for accuracy and to create a nice hard pass. So That's awesome. So we did complete our KWL chart. So it was a great way to see what you guys know, what you want to know, and what you have learned throughout the lesson. So it was really good to see that in the lesson that we have learned some things that we didn't know before. So I really hope that my KWL chart and our demonstrations and thinking out loud really helped you understand how to better send a ball for our sending and receiving unit. So I'm really glad to have had this lesson and see you next time.